Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about how to create and modify perspective view in SOLIDWORKS so left side you can see the perspective view of the cuboid right side the perspective view of the enclosure so I am going to show you with the both the examples see this is in uh, isometric and this is in diametric so when I see this uh, cuboid all lines are parallel so if I want to show the realistic view we need to select display perspective view see here and if I want to modify and regain the original shape we have to uncheck this now if I want to modify the perspective view so when I select modify here there is a perspective view but it is not highlighting so what we have to do is we have to go to display and select perspective view then once again we have to go to modify and select perspective view here we can select one see here you can see the difference if I select 1.5 see here so if I put less than 1 that is 0.1 see it looks like this and I can keep 5 also see here so based on our requirement we can modify this value see here so this is uh, mostly useful for presentation so I am going to show you for this enclosure see when we create any product during product development so you want to present to the client so to ensure that it is in realistic view similarly we have to use perspective view see here this is the normal view and this is the perspective view similarly we can modify the values as per requirement so it is point 1.5 so if I set 0.5 it looks like this we can set 0.1 so any value or we can set 5 as per requirement so for time being I am keeping 1.5 see here now we can select any presentation scheme double click see here looks like this we can select any background see if it is uh, in uh, isometric or diametric it looks like this if you want to see the realistic view then we have to select perspective view see here so this is mostly useful for presentation so this is a brief about how to create and modify perspective view in SOLIDWORKS Thanks for watching.